Red Edition, welcome, happy day. Do all fairy tales begin with once upon a time? No, some begin with if elected, I promise. Processing, got it? Okay, then Canada is being eaten by socialists one bite at a time. Winston Churchill, he was a wise guy. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be talking German. He said back in the 1930s, I do not suppose that this is the end of socialism. This is only the beginning of the reckoning. Because they keep trying. They're powerful. They've got long-term business plans effectively. Call it that, change plans. That's what they do. Their business model is take away the choices of all the little humanoids, slap them every now and again. And when you're slapping them hard, ease up every now and again and slap them only a little bit so they say, thank you. And it's working. We all got to fight back. Let me talk about Canada. Canada's changed. I'm old. I've been around a long time and that's a good thing. I've got, and I still have my mind a little bit so I can remember. Back in the 60s, Pierre Trudeau, he came into power. He's a commie. But he had a plan. He's good at it. He did a great job because before he started to do his job, men went to work. Women had a choice. They could go to work or they could stay home and raise their family. Most, of course, chose to do that. And then Trudeau, he came into power and he said, I'm going to make some changes here. And did he ever? I'm going to bring in the metric system. So he went across the entire country and changed every sign went into every land titles office and changed everything, all the paperwork. It cost billions and billions of dollars. Where does that money come from? He had to increase the taxes. Zillions of dollars. And by the way, the neighbor, the one, you know, the big one, the United States of America, at that time, they were buying more than 90% of Canadians' exports. And it's like changing the language. <laughs> you talk like that, we're now going to talk like this, we can't understand each other, are we having fun yet? Zillions and zillions of dollars later, all of a sudden, women looked around and said, hold it, we can't make our payments anymore. I'm going to have to go get a job because the payments went up. And then he said, oh, oh, that's not quite enough. I'm going to bring in the Official Languages Act, health care, take away your choice, more money, more money. And don't worry about it. You all can go to work because I'll bring in babysitters that we'll pay for and we'll educate your children and brainwash them. It's all part of their business plan, 30-year, 40-year business plan. And it happened back there. That would be number one. <laughs> and then number two, that would, I call it the middle time. The middle time is all the people that he put into place. Red tape, bring lots of it in, confuse people, take their freedoms away, uh, brainwash the people, gun control, really go after that because everyone that owns a gun, they're a conservative, so they'll think we're going after guns. We all know that guns aren't a problem, but we'll make it like a problem, boom, 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 and we'll go after them. We're really pounding the conservatives, and that's part of the plan. Number three, fast forward up to just a couple of years ago, the prime mistake, another Trudeau, he comes in, he's the third piece of this business plan, okay? Uh, gender, Let, let's mix up the genders, let's mix up the religion, uh, let's uh, finish up the gun control, finish up the uh, tax business, let's nationalize more things, which the first Trudeau did as well. He bought oil companies and he bought airlines and he did all of those crazy things. And now you have number four. Number four is next. What's next? The prime mistake gets in again. Canada will never recover. So you all got to think about next because there is a master plan out there. You need to come up with your own plan. That means you have to change the system. You have to change government. Get an ad on that right away. Think about it. Because of all the changes, think of a house. If you buy a house and you don't like the furniture and you get rid of it all, you hate the furniture, right? So you're changing it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but you're changing it because you hate it, okay? So if you vote liberal or green, you hate your country. You hate your country. Again, is that good or bad? I, I don't know. But you're changing it. You're unhappy. You hate it. I don't think that's very good. Hey, you know, process all of that. Give us your comments and come back. See ya.